Today we are going to be talking about how to use PowerShell in Automate. PowerShell is Microsoft's task framework which consists of a command line shell and an associated scripting language. PowerShell provides full access to .NET, COM, as well as WMI objects. This enables administrators to perform and manage tasks on both local and remote machines. And best of all, it comes natively with all Windows systems after Windows 7. Microsoft has made it very clear that PowerShell is definitely here to stay. The majority of Microsoft products are offering some kind of PowerShell integration already, and this is only going to increase. In certain cases, the only way to connect two separate applications is through a PowerShell script. So today what we're going to do is take a look at different ways our software can help you leverage this. When it comes to PowerShell execution, there are a couple things you'll want to verify. Among the most important is the current permissions. To do so, open up PowerShell, and inside here you're going to use the command called get execution policy. And basically what it returns to you is a current state. So it defines whether or not you have the ability to run on a specified machine. If this setting is restricted, that, th that means that you have no ability to run script files on the current machine. You either need to log in as administrator and change it, or you need to contact your administrator and have them make that change for you. To do so, the command is set execution. And then inside here you can define what state you want. So I want remote signed. And it'll ask you to confirm. Click yes. And now we can verify this by doing a get execution policy again. And now you can see the change has been made inside here. So now that we have our system prepped to run scripts, let's take a look at how our software can help out with PowerShell. The first thing we need to do is create a new task. So what we're going to do is we'll come over here to our task administrator. And we're going to right click and go to manage task. And we'll call this PowerShell. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open this up. Now that our task builder is open, let's run an actual PowerShell command. So here's a script that I've written a little bit earlier. Um, let's run this command right here, this move item. Basically what it's doing is it's going to specify the items inside my source location and move them into this destination location. And the star.txt means that I'm going to be moving only the text files. So let's copy this guy right here. And let's get that out of the way. Now inside our task builder, we're going to use the run action. Basically, the run action allows you to launch applications, and in our case, PowerShell. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use something called PowerShell.exe, which specifies what we're running in. And now we need to pass in two things. The first is no exit. And basically what no exit does is it tells the software to keep the window up for PowerShell. And the one after that is something called dash command, where you're telling the software anything that comes after this, this is the command that I want run. So now we'll just paste it, and then we'll click OK. And then let me drag over the folder and show you. So the files inside here, this is the source, and this is the destination. So now let's run this. And as you can see, it's running right now. Here's the window that popped up for PowerShell. And if we verify inside the folder, here are the three files that have been moved into the destination. OK, now let's clean this up and get these out of the way. So now I'm sure some of you are sitting there and thinking to yourselves, OK, that's great, but what if I have multiple steps I need to run, or if they're all contained inside a PS1? Do I really need to have a run action for every single one of those? I've got good news. You can run it directly from that PS1 file. To do so, we're just going to drag over another run. And inside here, we're going to specify again PowerShell.exe. Now this time, we just need to specify the path to that particular file. So let's come over here. And let's say I want to run this PS1 file right here. Let me just copy this, put it up here to get the full path, dot ps1, let's copy the entire thing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do dash no exit so we can see the window that pops up, and then we're going to paste the path location to that particular file. So we'll click OK. And then now let's just run this one step. OK, so it looks like here's the window lifted up and then let's check inside here nothing inside the source now the files have been moved into the destination location all right so let's get these out of the way so as you can see it's very very straightforward how to embed and run powershell scripts and automate when you take these in conjunction with our built-in actions our powerful scheduling and file triggering ability as well as business logic you have a very powerful tool we'll be spending a lot more time in the next couple weeks discussing more powershell so stay tuned